Brainworks is proud to announce BX Console, a faithful emulation of founder Dirk Ulrich's Nee VXS72 console. Dirk has been using this console for his own productions for years, and bringing all its features, tone, and rock and roll vibe to a plug-in has been a labor of love. We use this console as a reference for everything we do, both in terms of mixing, but also with our plug-in development. When we first got it, I was still mixing and recording a lot of bands, and I used it for several productions. But uh, most importantly, these days when we do guitar amp plugins, we use this console to capture all the impulse responses. So the sound of the console actually goes into all these plugins. While digital emulations of analog console channel strips have made great advances in sonics and performance, there is one thing all analog channel strips do that no digital model to date does accurately model the channel-to-channel -channel variation found in all analog consoles. BX Console changes all that. There are some channel strip emulations out there already, but they never captured the most important thing, and that's when you mix on a real console, every channel sounds a little bit different, and that's very important when you mix stereo channels, because on a, on a real console, the left and right uh, pair of two channels is never exactly the same, and it gives you some phasing issues in, in a positive way. This, I believe, is what people mean when they say, oh, an analog mix sounds bigger and wider. This is exactly what we've captured in that plugin. This remarkable plugin is fueled by a revolutionary Brainworks innovation, Tolerance Modeling Technology, or TMT. Using this patent pending technology, engineers at Brainworks painstakingly catalog the stated manufacturer's tolerances for the over 150 individual components found in the Nee VXS channel strip. When we modeled the console, we found out that there's about 150 components in the schematics where the parts have tolerances, and we were able to capture these tolerances in a realistic way, and this way you get 72 different channels in the plugin. It's mainly resistors and capacitors that cause the audible differences. BX console is the only channel strip which captures this critical aspect of analog mixer performance providing a new level of analog realism in your DAW. We developed an algorithm that allows us to generate a series of numbers, basically, that exhibit the exact same distribution as those components would have in the channel stream. So uh, putting in those numbers into the model will result in one certain channel strip. The resulting variability creates a stunning new realism for in-the-box mixing. In general, plugins have a lot of advantages when you mix. You have total recall, you have automation, and I already was in love with the EQs and compressors, but then I found out that one really important part of the, of the sound is the expanders. With the expander that's in every channel, you can make sure that the overall noise flow doesn't increase because it still keeps the channel quiet. And that's a mixing technique that I really wanted to capture in the plugin, and I do believe we've, we've got that. While BX Console, powered by TMT, makes a significant difference on individual channels, the real magic happens when you build a whole mix with it. I'm literally in the middle of a mix right here, and I took the kick drum track and I just duplicated that track. and dialed up a sound with the compressor and the EQ with the BX console, and then I went and AB'd the two, and uh, I think I know which one I'm going with now. The BX console <laughs> sounded punchy and tight and impactful, and uh, it, it sort of destroyed what I had. So I instantly saved that preset. With Yukon integration, you can have the tactile feedback of using BX console seamlessly with your Avid control surface. Not only does it sound analog, it, now it feels analog because I can grab any number of parameters in a way that feels like an analog console and works like an analog console. So it just makes the whole experience of working with a plugin feel more analog. Brainworks went to great lengths to optimize BX console so that many instances could be run in native or DSP, enabling you to capture the workflow, tone, and feel of a real large format analog console. A being back and forth between the analog mode and the digital mode, it's like, wow, that just got bigger and wider so it's going to be really interesting to apply that across an entire session and see how that models and what an analog console does. And based on what I think we just witnessed and just saw, I think it's going to do a pretty cool thing. Available in VST, AU, AAX native, and AAX DSP, BX console runs in a fully functioning demo mode for 14 days, during which it can be purchased directly from the Plugin Alliance online store.